General Michael Flynn versus Alex Jones. Well, oh boy. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Everybody loves General Flynn. If you don't love General Flynn, you ain't a oh patriot. Oh my God. Or I could say strongly like him. Not everybody's got to be in love. So he sits down with Alex Jones to have a conversation. And of course, Body if you've been analysis. seeing what's going on, you're really excited about this because you know General Flynn oh, has the yes. scoops. Yes. But he's also smart enough not so to give good. away the game plan. At this critical juncture for our republic, we really appreciate you taking time out on the eve of Trump's big speech tomorrow. Thank you so much, General, for being with us. What is your call to the American people right now? Well, my big message is that the, uh, the truth is going to come out. Donald Trump will continue to be the president of the United States for the next four years. There's no. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's. He, why is he wearing orange? Maybe he's just getting used to his. Uh, maybe he's just getting to the colors he's going to be wearing for the next. Uh, I don't know. 20 years in federal prison doubt in my mind when i'm asked on a scale of one to ten what's what's the scale that you put what are the odds of trump not leaving the white house like 100 percent, and then he's going to get dragged out and it's going to be hilarious that trump will be the next president i say 10 without a doubt that is the truth everybody in this country everybody in the world knows that this election on the 3rd of november was a total ripoff all right i had to cut him off there because he was on a roll general flynn genuinely believes Trump is going to be the president for the next four years. His body says he's really stressed and tense. But we saw this at the beginning, before he went into the statement. So this stress oh, is carrying no. through. You see the turtling, <laughs> the tightness moving the, the, in. The turtling and the tightness? What is this? What have I found? Oh my God. Forward. That was no, in the beginning. No, you of want him to just live down before they got into you anything. Want to live. So at this moment, that's an what underlying a tight little stress. turtle. And I've already watched. Now, uh, a government, uh, uh, General Michael Flynn is a tight little turtle. General uh, Michael Flynn is a tight little turtle, isn't he? I'm turtling. This whole thing, and I can tell you that pretty much goes through the entire interview. It's underlying stress. Now, the difference is he's got the believe me look as he says this. President Trump. This is the believe me look? Is this the believe me look? This is the believe me look. It's going to be there for the next four years. It's the huskiness. Please remember, the I believe think. me look does not mean deception. It's got a couple of meanings. And depending on the context of the words and the motive depends on what it means. And then for this particular what? one, we can say he really needs you to believe that Trump is going to be there for the next four years. And he himself, because he's not backing away from it to get away from the believe me look the juice, with brain his words, juice blasting that part out of their is ears. absent. He believes it as well. He's not telling us verbally any intel of how he knows this is going to be. He just needs you to believe it. It was a fraudulent election. We have had foreign interference from multiple countries. I'll rattle them off here if you want to get into that. And, uh, and Donald Trump was the clear winner. For the next yeah, four days fun. after the 3rd of November, from about the 4th through the 7th, 8th of November, they just started stuffing the ballot boxes and everybody knows it and they got caught. They got caught with their hands in the proverbial cookie jar. So that's where we are. Just like they got caught on Russia Gate, just like everything, they got everything. Russia so, so you got the floor, General. Lay it out for people what really happened. Yeah. So on on the in terms of the election, what we know is that the election was won by Donald Trump that night. Approximately 10 o'clock, 1030 at night, 80 to 90 percent of the precincts in nationwide. Trump won hands down. So as you see him go into how he knows, or I should say what he knows, I want you to take note of how his body language is and where his eyes are going. He's moving his hands. They're going into prayer motion, which pretty much it's in, in and out, close, open, close, open, close, open. Because his hands are in that position of being stretched out and they come together in a prayer when he opens and closes them, he's yeah. open. 
He's being oh, openly. He's, he's being open. I get it. I get it. Listen, I'm going to do that all the time. Okay? So that I'm very open. You know that I'm very open. What does that mean? Shut up. Don't ask. Shut the fuck up. Honest. This is what we know. And he's just opening it up, bringing it in to bring you in. You also see that his body is sick. I'm going to do the open, the open hands. This shows that I am showing you my uh, wide open truth. It's like this, you know, something along these lines. Yeah. Widen for Biden. Exactly. Bring you into the tight little turtle. He's a little bit more relaxed, but that turtle lane is still kind of there. Did he just, did she just say turtle anus? That turtle anus? Body is singing. He's a little bit more relaxed, but that turtle lane is still. Turtle anus. She literally just said turtle anus. I'm sorry. We can listen to this again. Relaxed, but that turtle lane is still kind of. That turtle anus is still. <laughs> kind of there. The underlying stress is still there. It never actually goes away. Hands down. And then all of a sudden we had this what very, this very uncertain, you know, the. And there was your first clue. He accesses turtle the emotional anus. memory. Short stint. Hey, emotional welcome, memories Cosmo are We're the strongest memories. There are I hope you get comfortable because it's been an absolutely off the rails day, Cosmothulu. Also the ones that your brain will manipulate to fit what makes you feel good or the feeling that goes with it. What? Everything stops. We've never had that in our country, in our, in our presidential election. So five states shut down. Joe Biden goes to bed. I mean, he, he probably never came out of the basement. And so um, then what happened was they realized, they being the Democratic machine, they realized that the algorithms that they put into these dominion. So as he goes on to it, then what happens, you see the access of the emotional memory again. Now, mind you, the context of this is he is going to go over emotionally where they were. Machines and these what's called ESNS, which is electronic security system. Okay, she predicted that he's going to go over what they went through emotionally. Let's even find out if, the, if she's even right about that. 95% of the of the electronic voting done in this country is done by those two systems, Dominion and ESNS, okay? The majority of people in this country don't even realize. She wasn't even correct. He's just talking about Dominion stuff. That. Yeah, why those machines are, are, and the companies behind them are partially owned yeah, by I the know, Chinese Communist Party. And you said that you said that months ago. Yeah. Now it was confirmed. I saw today that they've Congress has proven they're connecting. Chinese to, Communist Party. They're connecting to China. The, they're screaming over each other. The Chinese Communist Communist. So as he goes over, he's going back and forth. She just straight up was wrong. She just said something and moved on. And this is why it's kind of hard when you're dealing with um, any kind of emotion and memory and actual facts. It's not that they're false. Do not read that into it. It's just what what he feels on it. He feels they pretty much freaked out. This is what they conjectured. They know that these two systems are run by the communist. And he's completely right on all of it. They freaked out. Chinese party paid 200 million in 2014 to Dominion and they and they paid in October I believe it was October of and then you see just a short glimpse of him going up of a hard logical fact and what I mean by the logical how do you do this Osman first you need to get rid of your soul because most of what you will be doing if you ever want to be one of these people you are going to be grifting old people that is what these people do 90% of these QAnon grifter people are ripping off like l literally old people it's 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 swindling old people for their money that's 90% of this type of job. So if you have no soul and you're perfectly fine with ruining your, like, people's grandparents' lives, there you go. You can do it. It's just like the fucking Trump coin people and all of the, like, the, like, fucking, uh, the, like, brain force people. It's all about grifting old people out of their retirement money. That's 99% of it. And sometimes literally dementia patients. Not kidding you. Not kidding you. So I hope you're ready for that. Part of the brain, which leaves emotion out of it. And isn't long term. It's not the strongest memory. Now, why are we talking about it like this? Because this is a glimpse in the True, general Gina. plan. He's not. 
Exactly. If you're having fun with my content, you should sub and ring the hell bell. Bong. Spoon you could become an imp today. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Discord is closed right now due to Nazi raid bullshit. But beyond that, you can sub and you can see my stuff in the future. All right, let's continue. Bong. Not hiding anything from you. It is open. We've seen that. He's I know, telling it's been great. you everything. Yep, and it's been really good. since we know that he's speaking to our president, he pretty much knows what Trump knows. It's kind of like oh, I'm so sorry, setting up George. a trap and leading that bear to it. And that damn bear keeps getting the bait Dude, you're doing and lingo not while we flipping play, while the we trap. Watch. And you can conjecture oh, they via got the him? tracks to it. They got zip tie handcuffs there. guy? He yes. must see something. And he goes around this. Doesn't this dupe younger people too? Yeah, there's some, but most of it is old people. Most of it is old people. Um, there's actually a really great series um, that Chud Logic did. Here, my friend Chud Logic did a... Um, a thing called the Great British Coin Grift. And it was talking about, he used to work in the in the collectible coin industry. And um, and he talked about this. He did a five part series about um, about how they, how like these coin grifts do business. 99% of it is all old people. It's all retirees. In fact, they specifically target them. And Trump does that too. It's old people. It's lonely old people. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. I'll take a look at your art in a second, Lone Cat. Don't you worry. And that's just a little glimpse of what you're seeing and why it looks so hectic at times. So it's an good. elaborate hunt and your prey is smart. 2020, another $400 million put into this company. So, so we have, we have uh, clear evidence of a foreign interference, which is all the, the, uh, the president's um, uh, executive order describes. In, in the, that's the executive order from 2018. He reinstituted it in 2019. He reinstituted it again in 2020. And so we are essentially in a national emergency that the president has already declared. He just has to decide whether to execute some. What? He's already declared it, but he hasn't declared it publicly. He declared it quietly when nobody was around so that they wouldn't find out that we're in a public emergency. He declared it when no one was looking. What the fuck? Their brains are just fucking riven in half. Are those procedures that that uh, that are within well within his authority so we have it's a secret emergency uh, foreign... okay, now we're seeing a whole lot of search and we have changed our body position remember there's still the underlying stress and he holds it a lot in his shoulders but he's got his arms out and i either i declare a state of emergency Shh. don't tell anybody it's an emergency but we don't want to tell anybody He's got them on his uh, thighs or an arm of the chair. Can't really tell, but he's got them supported there. And we're seeing that brain search. He is filtering what he's saying when it comes to this. You know, is he going to pull the trigger or not? It's free state of emergency. On this whole insurrection and the military coming in and craziness happening. I'd have to say I'm not really going to come. I'm sorry, what? Comes to this, you know, is he going to pull the trigger or not? on this whole insurrection and the military coming in and craziness happening. I'd have to say. I Did ...ported there. And we're seeing that brain search. He is filtering what he's saying when it comes to this. Okay. You know, is he going to pull the trigger or not on this whole insurrection and the military coming in and craziness happening? I'd have to say I'm not really going to comment much on it, but if you're filtering it, mm, there's some meat there. If you're filtering it, mm, there's some meat there. From China, we have foreign interference from Serbia. We have foreign interference from Italy, from uh, Spain, from Germany. And then on the, on the 30th of October 2020, so a couple of days before the, the, the 3rd of November election, and then on the 3rd of November... Flip. The FBI and CISA, which is that- Is this a parody? No, this is grifting. This is like professional right-wing grifting. That guy Krebs, right? Krebs who came out and said, hey, there's no foreign interference at all about a week after the election. CISA is a Homeland Security Cyber Security Agency. On the 30th of October, 2020, and on the 3rd of November, both in a- in It's the sound of the horny police. That's the sound of the police. What's called a joint- Intelligence Advisory, the FBI and CISA issued an advisory saying that Iran is mucking around in our 
in our election system. Now they were doing it on now the it's Venezuela, Iran, China. Which one the fuck is it? Which one is it? Third of November, which is the day of the election. The FBI and the and the Department of Homeland Security both said there's foreign interference in our election on election day by the country of Iran. So for anybody to say that we haven't had foreign interference is, is full of it. There's, there is our U.S. government agencies, whether you want to trust the FBI or not. I, I have my, my doubts about the FBI. But you mean the FBI that caught you doing a crime and then you got pardoned out of it by Donald Trump after you got caught being a literal traitor? I mean, regardless, General, we, as you said, we have them claiming that Russians got Trump elected with no evidence. Now we have the EU, the Communist Chinese, Iran, with these Confucius Institutes and... What? All the... Uh, I mean, hell, China tells Hollywood what they can put in movies now. Yeah. And they're all... China actually owns Hollywood. They own Hollywood. Speak to that. China actually owns Hollywood. Uh, they own Hollywood. I thought they're getting this so mixed up. That place. You no, know, no, they, I mean, the, 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 the level of influence inside and the ownership, for, I mean, just the flat out ownership. Uh, you know, if people knew what the Chinese uh, party, basically the Chinese government. The Chinese party? Was doing inside of this country for, frankly, the last 30 years. I mean, our ladies it's, been it's real astounding quiet inside of our academic institutions. It's in, in our in our banking the Chinese party systems in our tech systems and in, and in our Hollywood in, within Hollywood or in our movie making capability. So I notice as he does that, you know, in our tech systems, our school systems, you don't really see the believe me look there. But he does do it when it comes to Hollywood. I really need you to believe this one. It's Hollywood. And all I can think of on why it would be because he's not being dishonest. We're not seeing any deception coming from him. Is that he knows so many people still go to Hollywood. They go pay for movies. No, they don't. No one has been... N Holly what the fuck are you talking about? This year has been absolutely dead for movies. Are you fucking kidding me? It's literally a historically bad year for films. What the fuck are you even talking about? They still line these people's pockets. They still worship them at the arenas the movie theater worship them at the arenas when was the last time you watched in a move a movie at the arena there's the streaming services you still need your bread and circuses find a new circus the system moved heaven and earth to falsely indict you to keep you from giving trump good patriotic yeah. pro-american advice yeah. because you were somebody that believed in america and you were not a traitor so now they try to silence you. They fail. You've come through the fires of Phoenix. What is your advice right now to President Trump and the American people, regardless of what happens in the next 15 days? Yeah. Because they wanted to silence you for a reason, because they knew you were a real person what who up, cared about America, true, true. who cared about truth. So General Flynn, they want to silence it's you. It's okay. Don't worry. We just have what, your voice so here. One of the, one of the... Just so all of you know, we don't, we don't really like echoes in chat here. It's, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I like it as well. It, uh, Hades is amazing. Yeah, I'm a Hades background. Yeah, I, I showed it by accident when I was trying to do this. Look, there you go. Now you can see it. It's really good. Um, yeah, I guess. I guess that's what they mean, Wendell B. Um, but yeah, we don't do really do echoes here. No worries. You're not in trouble. Um, it's just, yeah, the echo signs are too... It's too easy to misinterpret because people don't know you're being ironic. We don't want to encourage that here. I'll tell you, one of the, the uh, pieces He's of the conversation I had with Donald so Trump good. the day that he called me up about the pardon he says you he says Trump's you're the cleanest guy contractor? in america he says you're oh, probably fuck. the cleanest guy in the world so i love this the cleanest <laughs> he's, guy in the world the guy who was convicted he's, he's of still fucking... got that underlying stress it's coming out a, l a little bit more what but the it's fuck? it's even much hyper because he's such he's got such a big cheesy smile that goes with it president trump called me <laughs> told me i was the cleanest guy it's well just imagine you've been attacked for years your life has been destroyed practically. This life is your life has been destroyed practically after you got pardoned and haven't had to pay any haven't had to have any repercussions for your literal traitorous acts. And finally, the one person that His you knew could rescue you is the who cleanest was a good little person that you were fighting world. for to help clean up a country 
pretty much does the biggest apology to you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sure that it went a little bit more, you know, what do they say? Men don't like to apologize. They do things. <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually don't think anybody likes to We've apologize. We've closed the Discord for now really already. don't like doing it. You can technically, That's here's the thing. You can technically join the Discord, but you won't be able to confirm yourself into the Discord. It, it, it's already, uh, Delhi has already te uh, temporarily closed it. Foric moment for our general here. He's been vindicated. Not only is President Trump calling him, and giving him praise he's being vindicated yeah triple parentheses yes 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 that's the, that's what we're referring to painful of course he's going to be cheesy and i said no donald you're the cleanest guy in the world because they have dug into your rear end so far <laughs> no donald no i'm sorry no 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 i'm sorry I'm sorry. I just find it kind of funny and heartwarming all at the same time. And they found nothing. And I said, I, I know that I know what what they would have found in my life. And it's nothing. You know, it's it maybe maybe some ugly fight that I get in when I was a kid in high school with a guy like you. Sometimes, you know, I'd, I don't know if I'd take you on. You probably made me. I'm, 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 uh, but Apparently they had a kiss and make up, too. That's the I'm. She's shipping them. This bitch is shipping them 100 percent. This bitch is shipping them 100%. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's, there's one sorry. The other one goes, no, no, you probably take me. I'm sorry, too. Everybody is so sorry. Well, damn it, I'm sorry, too. Let's go on. I'm, I'm being a little facetious about that, but that was part of it, was that they dug into my life so far. Being a little facetious, you see his head go down like, okay, let's cut off the I'm sorry's. I guess that made him uncomfortable. Okay, okay, we're done with the saris. Barb. Lonnie, I'm telling you, this woman probably lives a very comfortable life. This is not a joke. I mean, it is a joke, but it's not a joke. Back, and I'm, I'm talking about back years. Oh, I know, I've gone through it too. This isn't just started right in 2017 She's a or body when the president analyst. won the last- Look at this. She has a website and everything. She's a body language analyst. Election. They go interview everybody they go, you do in high school. Everybody, 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 everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they looked into every every single part of my life. They were listening to all my communications, or watching all my texts, looking at all my bank accounts, everything. They beta focus. What the fuck? Fix your focus, Alex Jones. Found nothing. What they knew was is that Fix your I focus, knew what they your focus. knew. Fix your focus. Okay. Focus. Focus. That focus. That's a that's a uh, that's a powerful. You see that furrow in his face when he says that. When he really gets into something, they knew what I knew, or I knew what they knew. You see that right there in between that my brows. It gets really big. A statement actually. Say that again. Yeah. Exactly. What, that's so, say that what, again. What you they, knew yeah. what the, you knew I, what they knew. Yeah, what they knew is what I is what I know what they know. Okay. What? I mean, essentially, how this. And then you see that believe me look come back. He needs you to know that he knows. And he explains it further into this interview, which we are not going to go over. I really suggest that you go watch the entire interview via either band video or Odyssey and enjoy. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Wow. Well, that was a wild ride. Holy fuck. I think we're going to have to check back in on this.